Oh yeah, um, yeah. I feel uh, I feel some control. Uh, you know, at, at that time, I get a lot of confidence in me and. You know, lock in. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, go up in the game. You know, I wanna uh, keep pitching and get the chance to get that W. So that's what I say to him. This is my game. Uh, I wanna stay. He say, if you, I trust in you, and you know, uh, get this guy out. Did you think about asking him about the ninth inning? Uh, no, no, because I know we're close. I don't know how many pitches, but yeah. but I'm, yeah, I think that's probably he say, take it easy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say, but. Uh, was great. Uh, it was really good. He, he gave me the opportunity, you know, to to face Contreras at that time. So, and, and you know, and, and finish it that inning. So it was amazing. What were you doing, and where were you when Vientos walked it off? Oh, uh, it was amazing. I was uh, you know waiting for for that run, and you know pushing for for Vientos was um, amazing. He 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 get the walk off for us, and you know. Uh, in a um, battle game, so it was a really good game. And, you know, we, we always uh, keep competing, and, and you know, uh, uh, last second, so being to get that uh, the homer, so it was amazing. What does it say about Carlos that he's willing to have that conversation with you on the mound and willing to sort of get your input as opposed to just coming in and taking you out? Well, I know I know the the conversation coming. Um, as soon as I get the ball, the, the ground ball to first, uh, I try to say him like stay stay in the dog out, and, and he start to to walk to the um, to the mound, and, and you know, and, and here we go. I say, hey, I don't want to go, I don't want to go out, so I want to keep keep fighting and, and give me give me that chance to to get this to finish this inning. So he he right away was um, on the same page with me and say, all right, uh, I trust you and, and and let's go. We need it. Did you think you were coming out when you saw him come out of the, out of the field? Come I mean, come uh, fifty-fifty, probably. You never know. You know, um, I just waiting for he he um, he don't call the bullpen early uh, before he cross the line. You know, because sometimes managers right. do that. So um, yeah, I say don't don't do it. I want <laughs> to, you know, don't do it, and, and it was good. So and then I'm really glad he gave me that chance. What was working so well for you all day? Well, um, you know, I make a, I make adjustment in my mechanic. Um, see a little back on, on my left side and, and, and throw more strikes. You know, I think uh, today um, uh, the key was uh, attack the zone early. If you see a couple of innings was uh, quickly, you know, so uh, get more contacts in, in, in quick house. So, um, yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's, that's part of me. So I feel today more in control, uh, get all control of the game and, you know, and, and, and keep attacking and, and get a chance to win. First inning last in a while. Did you change anything after the first frame? No, no. Even the first inning, um, in the first inning, I think it was a long one. I, I get uh, during the game. Um, I feel really good at that time. I, I don't worry at that walk because I feel so good, um, and and I have the, you know, I prefer the chance to face a, a Reda than than Goldschmidt, but have good numbers uh, against me and. and and, you know, I get two hours and I say, all right, let me um, let me finish with this uh, with this guy. But yeah, it feels uh, it feels really good. And, and for some reason uh, today, um, I feel like I, I can can go to that. Was this the best your stuff was this year, or was it more about your command and hit, uh, attacking as well? Yeah, so far I think it's the best, uh, the best, uh, the best outing uh, for me, and, and you know, give me that uh, that confidence back. You know, um, I'm, I always trust in in, in, in my staff, and, and today was the best best feeling I, I get. And you know, change speed, you know, um, uh, throw inside to the right handers, and, and the breaking balls. And so, like I said, I feel more more in control today. So that's uh, that's that was really good. So obviously it's. Um I feel like it's like uh, kind of do or die from the start. Um, even though it's an unearned run, it's still like you're doing everything you can to strain them. So I feel like it's kind of like you're just trying everything you can to strain them out there. So it's, it's definitely uh, a little bit higher pressure coming in with that guy on. You trying to do a 20 game winner? <laughs> that, that would be wild. Uh, you know, I, you know I, I wish I could take credit for all these wins, but I mean, it shows how. How good we are fighting back! It's it's impressive impressive to see. What was your reaction after Vientos hit that home run? Oh, I wish I could say what I said in the dugout, but that <laughs> wouldn't yeah it wouldn't be good on live television. So yeah, it was impre- it was awesome. I mean, Marcus, 
that was clutch. That was a huge hit. You know, it's something that we needed. We hit the ball hard all day, and uh, it was kind of like a breakthrough moment. So, just got to keep it rolling now. Yeah. All things considered, the way he started eight innings pitching well, and then just how important was this tip? Man, uh, that was that was awesome to see him. Really, like uh, he he wanted the ball. You know, and then he came out there, and uh, I guess he and maybe he talked himself to to stay in the game, but he absolutely dominated, and it was. It was, especially after a long first inning, sometimes it can like snowball out of control. But you know, he did everything that we could have asked for. He did, and he went out there and just and, and shoved for us. It was cool to see. Steve, what's the adjustment like when you, you, the, after your first inning, mm -hmm. you guys have first and third, one out? You, I mean, you're this close to winning the game, yeah. and it's one pitch, and you're back out there, and you got to hold it again. I mean, what's what's the how do you prepare for something like that? What's the adjustment there? I, I think. Um, Everybody's a little bit different. For me, I like I don't really sit down in the dugout in between innings. I feel like uh, if I sit down, it kind of takes my adrenaline out of it. So I just try to stay up and, and kind of tell myself to, to, to throw strike one. Um, and it's been working, so I'm going to keep trying to do that. Um, but obviously, it was I, I let my emotions get the best of me when I struck out uh, the guy at the end of the at the end of the tenth, and uh, maybe I wasn't quite as sharp in the second inning. But you know, we did everything we could to to keep it close, and we went back out there and came out on top.